You can do it now, or you can stay stuck forever. Hello and welcome to my first podcast. Today, you are listening to It is Time to Make It Happen. I'm your host, Max Rack, and today I'm going to tell you about something. I already told you a few weeks ago, or I gave you a small insight, a challenge I'm going to tackle starting tomorrow, the 5th of January 2020. As you may know, I've been running my second half marathon last year. I've not beaten the time I've set myself, which was running below 1 hour and 50, but I have beat my previous half marathon by almost 9 minutes. So the half marathon time I ran the last was 1 hour 52 minutes and 52 seconds. But you may wonder why I'm telling you that now. Well, um, I've set myself probably like 12 years ago, maybe when I was 18 or 19, to get in proper shape, to feel fit, to feel comfortable with myself and finally have those six packs I have showing. And I have my set myself a physical goal, so to know how I want to look. So that's John Madsen, which I follow. I also put the blog article link into the show notes so you can read through it. And I have also a picture from him there so you can see what I'm striving towards. And um, that has my goal has been my goal for a long time, but I've never really pulled it off in that time. I got close, then I bounced back up. I get close. I keep bouncing back up, so now I have to radically change to make it happen. And um, yeah, during my half marathon, probably around kilometer 12, um, I felt terrible. I lost my energy. I thought I have to throw up. It was just crazy. I didn't know what's gonna be gonna be next. I had to run another nine kilometers. And I didn't know how I gonna run the next step, but I keep pushing, I keep going. And after a couple of kilometers, I thought, wow, um, I have no idea how marathon runners are from this point are able to go another 25, 30 kilometers to make it to their finish line while I only had left seven, eight, nine kilometers at this point. And I think that was the time when I, when in my mind I decided that's something I'm not able to see right now. I should do it. I should run a full marathon. And it took me a few months, I believe, until I then signed up for it. And um, somehow in my mind, a couple of years ago, it was that I want to run a half and a marathon before I turn 30. So before signing up, I thought I have run two half marathons. So in theory, I've run the distance of a marathon so far. Well, in two different races, not in one, but um, I have been. So I looked for one, which is the closest to my actually 30th birthday, so to give myself enough time to prepare. And I found one on the 30th of June, 2020. So my 30th birthday is on the 14th of June, which is exactly the day afterwards, <laughs> and I li as I like to joke about. Um, having run a marathon the day before I turned 30, I will actually really really feel old the day when I turned 30 and then after a while I looked into preparation so I have a, bought an app I'm gonna do my training plans with so to keep myself accountable to the workouts and everything but then somehow I think I think actually my mentor Ryan Adele he shared it on his podcast that he's doing the 75 heart challenge and um, I thought, well, why shouldn't I use that to get started into my marathon preparation? So that's what I'm gonna do. 5th of January, I'm gonna start the 75 Heart Challenge and I incorporate what I have to do with it into my preparation for my marathon. So um, if you're reading through the blog article, um, you will see a screenshot of the 
75 heart challenge. Sorry, just had to drink a little bit. Um, so you see a picture which uh, Andy Frisella, the creator of the 75 heart challenge, sh shared on his Instagram. So it shows uh, literally like a calendar, day one to 75, and the daily rules. So the daily rules are quite simple, in my opinion. It's following a diet. It's two 45 minute workouts a day. No alcohol, no cheat meals. Take a progress picture. One gallon of water, or for those who prefer the metric system, 3.79 liters. And read 10 pages every day. So the fine print says also that you have to complete the day until you go to sleep. So actually in the evening before you go to sleep. One of the workouts of the two every day have to be outdoors. Sounds simple, but it's Germany, January, February, March. It's like two degrees outside right now. Um, and the reading, audiobooks are not allowed. And if you fail, you have to start over at day one. So that's the general outline of it. But I also have detailed it more down for myself, as I mentioned in the, in the previous episode, to be more specific on um, yeah, what I have to achieve and what I have to hold myself accountable for. So for the first rule, following a diet, I'm going to follow in the 18-6 fasting diet, which is literally eating for six hours a day and fasting the other 18 hours. So I'm going to eat my normal protein muesli I have with, it's usually like 100 gram muesli and 150 gram or more um, coconut yogurt which is dairy free in the mornings and then I have a six hour window from that first breakfast to have yeah different snacks um, I will obviously be allowed to have a banana an apple a snack or, or nuts or something like that um, the afternoon meal will be more vegetable and meat vegetable and fish um, less carb heavy noodles and rice and stuff like that but while they will still be included or potatoes or stuff like that additional snacks i will add also will be like salmon um, avocados salmon with avocados salmon with um, tomatoes and stuff like that or other protein heavy uh, foods to yeah give myself more energy but i will also keep in place my 72 hours fast which I've started in November which is literally starting every first Sunday of the month which is also the start of the challenge the 5th of January and that is literally 72 hours no food at all only water no coffee nothing um, I incorporate into the, that into the challenge and uh, therefore it will be more like a 85 hours fast every month starting Sunday because I gonna feed myself Sunday morning and then when the six hours are over I gonna kick in with the 72 hour fast but then finishing it off it will be the window where I'm not eating in the evenings so I'm gonna keep continuing it into Thursday morning to be able to eat again I will keep I will stick to my um, to my supplements I take which helping me to yeah keep my um, allergies at bay to have my energy have my brain functioning better and also keep my uh, gut health which is very important for literally your entire health in general so if you want to hear more about that um, reach out to me you find any contact details in, in my show notes the next rule is two 45 minutes workouts so that might sound um, ridiculous to you if you're not working out or so but in, in general it will, will be tough to get through and it will not be easy to get through it but um, I will have to I incorporate with my uh, marathon workouts and 
um, outdoor workouts will be mostly runs I think maybe some some other things as well depending on the days but also what I mentioned earlier the snacks I will incorporate which I need to give me more fuel will then be for the longer marathon preparation ones which will be 20 to 32 kilometers depending on on the training day and there I just need more fuel to put in and have this as uh, one of the two workouts will most likely be the long ones will be the outside workouts and then have something else but I also um, measure my recovery through my whoop and depending on the recovery on the day I will not push myself that hard as I usually do on workouts I will make sure to avoid injuries to not waste any time um, before the marathon to need to get back and um, have that in place to make sure it's not hurting me in the long run so then maybe outside workout will be a brisk walk for 45 minutes with elevated heart rate but with not very high heart rate to keep keep myself accountable to the rules but make sure my body still has recovery time and not burns out or injures quickly that's the next rule is no alcohol or cheat meals I think that's nothing I need to add um, during my marathon preparation alcohol is off the table anyway but there there's no alcohol there's no cheat meal including alcohol anything so for me that means no candies or the evil pleasure I have in my uh, nougat chocolate which I, if it's on the table I feed through it in no time at all the next rule is take a progress picture every day um, yeah simple somehow not really much taking picture but um, I know I shouldn't underestimate to make sure that I get it done for all 75 days of the challenge it's a simple thing which can easily be missed which then will make me fail the challenge one, one gallon of water or what I mentioned earlier the 3.79 liters every single day I use an app called uh, waterminder to track my daily water intake and that's what will help me keep on track and make sure that I reach that goal as well um, while I'm allowed to drink black coffee and teas um, during the challenge I will not count them towards my drinking goal it will be pure water which I count for those days the last rule I believe um, 10 pages of reading so the fine print always you men already mentioned no audiobooks and the books have to be non-fiction that's something and if Rosella mentioned also on his um, detailed podcast episode about the 75 Heart Challenge, how he came up with it, very interesting. Um, I think you can just look for 75 Heart on any podcast and it will come up first. It's a very popular episode. And um, yeah, for the for the books, I have them actually here in front of me. And I have prepared, so I went through 75 five days 10 pages per book and if you're reading you know usually you you're not really stop when you have the 10 pages done you stop when there's like the next um, chapter the next paragraph of so when it feels feels kind of right to when it feels right to stop at the at the point and therefore we'll usually we'll most likely have more than 10 pages and therefore i picked three books which are around 75 plus 750 plus pages things like 820 or so but knowing that I might have more than the 10 pages average I also which I call backup book selected um, which I will then have um, which I will then have if let's say um, I have more than 10 pages I run through them and um, the last thing I want to do in a challenge like that is um, needing to put the time out and actually hunt down additional book I want to I want to read so therefore I have already done that right now and have them prepared so um, suiting quote to that is really much um, success occurs when opportunity meets preparation and um, that's what I want. I want to be prepared to not have that little thing like finding a book to read 10 pages being something which could stop me. 
so the first two books I'm gonna read and I start off with I have been recommended by um, my mentor Ryan Adele on the dark side of human matter so the first book is meeting the shadow with like countless contributors from like CG Young, Hendrix Hillman, Keen and many many more edited by Zweig and Abrams not sure if you know them um, he recommended it so I'm pretty sure it's a very good very very good book so I have that one first then also recommended by Ryan um, The Shadow Effect by Deepak Chopra, Debbie Ford and Maria Williams it's a smaller book it's less than 200 pages um, so it's a couple of days to get through, or a couple of days like 15 20 days to get through it um, very very interesting I think recommend it also um, looking forward to read that and the third book I have prepared for the challenge which is kind of kind of funny I've looked for the person who wrote it followed him for a while and wanted to buy the book but it was still on like the 20s or so I didn't want to buy it then um, it had other books to read and put it off didn't read it and then I came into a project um, by yeah, a new project from a customer I have and they actually made that specific book their project book and gave it to everyone even with a special note to everyone so my note reads DMX size the life in store for you happiness health and meaning and it, I think that's amazing and um, looking forward to read that book as well the title is uh, Five Air Club by Robin Sharma. And then the last backup book I mentioned is um, a book from someone I yeah I, I listened to much more in his podcast recently. I also ordered his new book, um, The Underground, not the, the Underdog Advantage. Um, we already received one of the books I will read this year as well and the book is A Millionaire Success Habits by Dean Katsiosi so I'm sure because um, one of the books I'm very excited about is also the last one and I'm sure I will get through all of them during the challenge um, but that's that's it from from my point if you not follow me on Instagram yet you can do it now and I will be sharing about the challenge more often in the Instagram stories and also my podcast so I'm not sure if it will be like a bi-weekly or monthly episode just gonna recap what what I felt during the doing the challenge and um, yeah make you being part of it as well so feel free to join me into that challenge but also if there's any other challenge you have, feel free to reach out to me and um, I will do my best to keep you accountable to it as I hope you will be keep asking me how it's going to keep myself accountable to it. So that's from me today. I'm your host Max Freck. Thank you for listening. Until next time.